Hey, what is up guys, Trex here, and welcome back to some Fallout 4. Now, as you may know, the Contraptions DLC shown at the, uh, E3 this year was released today, and I've been experimenting it with it for the past hour and a half or so, and I've pretty much found everything that's important that you'll care about that is super, super duper awesome, uh, and I've created just a very basic... Thing. And now, what this DLC is, is this is a very heavy factory DLC. So, the, I personally love this DLC, and it is getting mixed reviews on Steam. That is because some people are like, Fall Fours are becoming more settlement oriented. If you don't like the settlement DLCs, don't buy them. It's as simple as that. Okay? Now, moving on for the people that actually do care. Let's get into what's in this DLC and why you should buy it. So, we're going to start off with a couple of the basic uh, things that are important before I show off this. Basically, what was added was new structures were added, including scaffolding structures, I believe a warehouse structure type, but there is a, a glitch with the mob where it says file not found or whatever. Um, that's not it. Let's just... Turn this back on and see what it was. It if you go into the statue, it says lookup failed. So yeah, just be aware of that. So I think it's a type of warehouse type, a boxcar type, and then there's elevators and shoot structures. So those are all added. Those are super cool, especially the elevators. I haven't looked at shoots yet, but I'll get into those. Um, and then what else? Dark in the decorations, we now have displays. All these, I'll get into these in a bit. Those are super cool. And then a whole bunch of elect electronic stuff. There's logic gates, which I haven't gotten into, uh, and conduits, which are pretty cool. I've gotten into those. But um, the main part that you care about, I suppose, is you want to make a factory. And this DLC is excellent for that. So I've set up a small little factory just to kind of show what goes on in it. Uh, and basically what you need is you need a hopper and conveyor belts and an assembling machine and then there's all sorts of other stuff there's sorters um, and ele and product elevators and it's so so cool uh, you can make pretty much anything if you if you have the right perks and the perks you'll need are gun nut science level 2 demolition expert 2 and uh, I think that's about it those are all the ones I could find anyways and then once you uh, you don't need those to access the mod, but some of the better things you'll need them for. But yeah, you can make some crazy stuff with this, and I definitely plan to in the future. Oh, and one of my fa absolute favorite things about this mod is this floor. It makes a level floor, which is amazing, because I live in the Starlight Drive-In currently. It is not level at all. I mean, look at my farm. But with this floor, you just plop it down, and you have a level floor. It makes making a factory super easy. It is a fantastic floor. But anyways, what is this all set up to do? Well, ignore this acid. I dropped some of it earlier. Turned out I wasn't going to use it. Um, these hoppers drop materials down onto the conveyor belts, and they're taken to these assembling machines, which are controlled by the terminals. Now, I've set these conductors just to kind of show how conductors work. They transfer electricity. You can do them on the ground or on the ceiling, and they are very useful. Um, but if if two machines are connected by a single wire, one hopper, sorry, one uh, terminal will be able to access both of them. But so I can access both the ammunition plant and the builder. Uh, whereas, come on, there we go. Whereas if I disconnect this wire, that. I'm just gonna put that wire back, okay? Okay, we are all good. Um, but if they weren't connected by the same wire, I, I would have to have a terminal for each of them, and I didn't know that, so that's why there's two terminals. So basically, I've set this one up. This is a builder. I've set it up to build teddy bears for us. And I've set this up. This is an ammunition plant, which is very useful, which allows you to manufacture your own ammunition, any ammunition without a mod. This will manufacture 10 millimeter rounds. So we've got these hoppers here, they're going to drop some supplies down onto them. All we have to do, I could rig up a switch, but I didn't feel like it. So I'll just 
hit them up with a wire, and then they'll start dropping out materials. They're not going to drop out like leather, then cloth, then leather, then cloth. They're going to drop out all of one material, and then all of the next material. That's very important. All of one material, and then all of the next material. And then these things will just store it. So, if we take a look here, uh, we'll see some stuff start popping out. Uh, once the lead reaches here and the cloth, but if we come around here, we should start to see our first teddy bears popped out, and now we're manufacturing teddy bears. That's so sweet. I can shoot them off into the distance, and look at this. We made ourselves, <clears throat> let's see what it is, a 10 millimeter round. We made ourselves 10 of them. We're making 10 millimeter. 10, 10 millimeter rounds. This is amazing. We can make our own ammunition. I am super excited about that. And you can make even more stuff. There's so many options. These two are just sort of set up as a little display. I may make a more in-depth tutorial later that's longer, but I just want to quickly show it off to you. So all the uh, showcase videos have been like 20 minutes long. I just want a 10 minute one. So basically you can make factories and that's the main, main part of this. Now the second part of this that's really important is the displays. So you've got several types of displays. You've got weapon displays, which are different types of pegboard, uh, different sizes. Like I'm displaying my pistol on this small one, and my uh, rifle on this big one. Wait, yeah, that's my rifle. This is my shotgun. Okay, this one's for shooting. This one's for fun. All right, so this is a big display board, and then you've got yourself a heavy weapon display which can display like giant weapons like a fat man. And then of course you have radio display cages, which are super cool. You've seen this before in the game, but you haven't been able to use them. You just drop items into them. And then you close the lid. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. And then you have this single item, so if you want to put like a mini nuke or a cryo mine in there or whatever, I accidentally took that. Look at look at all the stuff we're manufacturing. This is awesome. I love this. I love this DLC. I love it so much more than Wasteland Workshop or whatever it's called. Because I just got that for guard plots, and I haven't done anything with arenas. But I love this DLC. And then finally, finally we have this armor rack, which you can display armor on, and it looks super sweet. And then one more thing, we have a power armor display. Not a power armor station, but a power armor display, where you can display power armor, which is super cool. But we've got male and feminine mannequins to display your armor on. And then the last part, the last main part of this DLC that I'm going to show off is the elevator check it out you can go up here I really like the UI for the elevator it is super sweet you just select your floor you select your floor and all the buttons light up you know like that scene in Elf they just all light up and it's super cool and you go to the floor that you want and it's very intuitive and very cool so if we head back up to the fourth floor that'd be great we can get a nice overlook of it oh yeah oh that's that is just muy bueno. So, yep, I really like that. Now, last thing that I wanted to show you, uh, it's pretty cool. It's not like one of the most important features, but there's now marquee signs, which is a sign where you can write whatever text you want on it. And I really like the uh, text writing feature. You just select a bunch of letters. I'll show you here in a second. You select a bunch of whole, uh, no, don't save it. Select a bunch of letters from the marquee sign. Fall 4 really needs some uh, smoothing up. Just, um, just I'm saying, because like hitboxes for the workshop are off, and um, other stuff like that. Now where was it? It was in resources. Sorry about this. I'm trying to find it real quick. I believe it was in decorations. Oh, oh, no. Ah, uh, I'm failing. I am really really failing here what where is it storage crafting oh but you can get a marquee a marquee thing is it in the miscellaneous no it's not oh yeah there's pylories where you can put your uh, settlers in if they've been being bad which is pretty funny here we go here we go marquee arrows they light up and stuff but basically you select up the sign put your letter and you it's kinda sketchy but it it corresponds well so you can write stuff on here you know I wrote a message it but 
when I tried to move the sign, the message didn't stay, which is unfortunate because I put a lot of effort into this. But you can still see it floating here, and you can run into it stuff. But uh, yeah, marquee signs are pretty cool, and apparently they line up, they uh, light up as well. So yeah, check that out. So now at the Starlight Drive-In, we have like a real working movie theater sign. But um, yeah, basically that's what I wanted to show you guys. Now I've got to make a quick addition to my house. If I go over here to uh, stores, no, what was it, cages? No. Ah, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, Rick. Where was it? Defense. No. Ah, uh, resources. Miscellaneous. Here we go. I'm just gonna add some real quick to my little uh, little village. So uh, let's get a settler here. Hello there. What's your name? I'm gonna call you Juan. You are now assigned to the Polori. What'd you say to me? Get in the Polori. In it. Get in it. See? Okay, here he goes. Oh! And I got achievements. So apparently there's new achievements. So, let's go, Settler. Into the Polori. Come on. Get in the Polori. He I bet he's a synth. You know... I really think he's a synth. Well, darn. I was wrong. Anyways, that's the Contraption CLC. It is super awesome. I recommend you buy it. Go get it, because you can make factories. Unless, of course, you're completely not interested in settlements. But, of course, you can still make your own ammo, which is very useful. Anyways, guys. That's Contraption CLC. Link to it will be in the description. Pick it up in the Steam sale coming up tomorrow, I believe.